Today, I want to do a video that's more focused to those of you who are new to this entire space. And the reason why is because I think most people are new to this entire space because it's a new space. And there's a lot of questions that I'm sure a lot of you have about what play to earn gaming is, how it works, whether or not it's a scam, whether or not it can be sustainable long-term, or even just the mechanics behind all of it. So in today's video, I just want to start from the very beginning and explain fundamentally how play to earn gaming works, how it's different from traditional games, and essentially catch you up to speed so that you're on the same level as everyone else, you know how it all works, and this will make it a lot easier for you to determine which projects are legit and which ones aren't. So if that sounds good to you, remember to leave a big thumbs up on this video, hit subscribe if you're not already, and let's get into it. So before I get into the actual mechanics, the fundamentals, like what an NFT is, how cryptocurrency works and all of that, we're going to push it to the end of the video. And I want to just tell you fundamentally how play to earn gaming works. And we need to start with one very important fact. And that is that in the United States, the video game industry makes over $10 billion a year. And that is selling games that give nothing except for fun to the people who are playing them. So for me, for example, I have spent over a thousand dollars on skins for the free to play game League of Legends. It is actually free to play. You don't need to spend any money. Um, but I spent a lot of money in that game. And what do I get out of it in return? Well, only fun, only enjoyment, only the feeling that I'm cool when I'm in a match. And that is about it. If I ever wanted to sell those skins to someone else, I can't. It's against the terms of service and I really don't actually even own them. Uh, Riot could terminate my account if they want. And all video games that exist today are kind of like that. And play to earn gaming is going to be changing one core fundamental thing about games, which is then going to allow players to earn for spending time in these games. And this one fundamental change is simply that we're now going to be getting real ownership in virtual worlds. Real ownership, meaning that if we want to take an item out of a game and sell it to someone else uh, on, a, on a marketplace not affiliated with the game at all, we're able to do that. That's what real ownership means. So I know that a lot of you are like, like how, can, how can you play a game and, and get money out of it? Where's that money coming from? Well, you have to remember that a lot of people already dump billions of dollars total Billions of dollars are dumped into games just for fun. So the way that I like to think about play to earn gaming is it's a transfer of wealth from the rich to the dedicated because the rich might not want to spend the time in world uh, crafting and gathering resources and putting all the time in that's necessary uh, to, to get a really powerful item. But someone who's really dedicated and doesn't have that much money might have no option to actually uh, buy an item straight up. So they're, they're, they're going to be dedicated in the game. They're going to spend the time. They're going to craft all the resources that they need. And they're going to mint that final NFT item. And then the reason that this dedicated person can make money is because now the rich person who wants this powerful item but doesn't want to have to spend the time working for it because uh, maybe they have to spend that time working in their job in order to make that money they can then buy this item that the dedicated person spent time in the world to craft from them. So that then enables this player who just only spent time in the world to have played to earn. And that's essentially how play to earn works. It's just like the real economy. If you can provide value to someone else that someone else views as valuable and they're willing to pay you for it, uh, then you're going to be able to make money for generating that value. So on the most basic level, essentially play to earn games are just another world in which a free economy can exist. And hopefully that makes sense to you and you can start to picture how play to earn gaming might work in the future and, and why it's not actually a scam at all. Now, one thing that you might be wondering uh, based off of this, this first little thing that I've shared is, okay, wait, how, 
how are gaming companies going to be making money if it's players selling things to other players instead of the gaming company selling things to players? Because currently the business model, the way that, that gaming companies make money is that everything has to be sold from the game company to the player. And a lot of gaming companies restrict trading between players because that means that the players aren't buying from them and they're not making money off of it. But the entire business model for play to earn games is getting turned upside down. And because of the power of cryptocurrency and the fact that you can like attach a tax to NFTs that are a part of your game, it provides a new revenue source for these gaming companies. So going back to our original example, say this dedicated player sells a $1,000 item to the rich player who just wants to pay for the power. The gaming company who designed the world and keeps it up and continues to update it, that gaming company might have a three, four, 5% tax on that item so that when it's sold, 5% of the value of the item goes to the gaming company. So now it's just like you're in a normal country that has a tax and a free economy can take place, but some is siphoned out to the developers for continued development and so that the company can pay all their employees and stuff like that. So you can start to see how the business business model changes and how it can work for both the companies and for the players. So on the most simplistic basic level, that is how play to earn gaming works. It's a transfer of wealth from the rich to the dedicated. So already there's some play to earn games where people in the United States are buying these NFTs, but might not want to actually spend time using the NFTs in world to generate uh, whatever currency that they can generate. Um, and because of that, these people then lend out the NFTs to, to people that might not have as many opportunities, might not have as many income generating opportunities in their local economies. And because of that, these NFTs allowing them to earn five, six, seven dollars a day playing a game allows them to generate far more wealth than they could have before. So we're starting to see these crazy economies pop up in the video game world. But now we have to move on to that stuff that we pushed off to the end of the video, which is the actual technical side of this. How does all of this work and why were there not play to earn games before? Now, the reason is because the blockchain is new technology. And essentially, uh, the blockchain is a very secure way to have provable ownership and track where things are moving. And the blockchain has allowed for uh, Bitcoin to come about and Ethereum. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about those currencies, but essentially the blockchain is just a public ledger where you can see where every single currency is now. And you can see when it moves from one wallet to another, and it's all transparent. You can see where all Bitcoin is and all Ethereum is at any given time. And it's that extra security, the verifiable ownership that is then allowing these new gaming companies to have the ideas like what if we make our in-game currency a cryptocurrency so that if someone is earning this currency in game uh, they could trade it for ethereum or trade it for us dollar or whatever they want to do and that then provides another play to earn mechanic that never would have existed before because in the old world of gaming you could never take a currency out of the game and and, and trade it for something else without violating terms of service but now if an in-game currency is an actual cryptocurrency with verifiable ownership that can be traded for another currency on decentralized exchanges, all of a sudden, the world of opportunity that opens up is very, very incredible. Now, another type of technology that has allowed for even going beyond the currency, even items and uh, things within the game to uh, exist as verifiably owned and limited assets is the technology known as NFTs. And NFTs, you really don't need to know a lot of this in order to play these games, by the way, but this is just for the curious. NFTs stand for non-fungible tokens. And non-fungible just means that they can't be duplicated. There's nothing like it. So Bitcoin is a fungible token because every Bitcoin is exactly the same as every other Bitcoin. They're all fungible uh, between themselves and you could trade one Bitcoin for another 
another and you have the same exact value. But non-fungible means that it's it's not duplicated. It's unique. It's different than, than the other non-fungible tokens that exist. So you can have a rare sword in a game that is on the blockchain that has verifiable ownership and is unique. It could be a one of one or a one of 100 or a one of 1000. And you could have a very limited valuable asset where if a game has a million players and only 1000 of these powerful swords, you could see how these swords could get a lot of value because a lot of people want to own them, but there's not that many that exist. And this is how you start to get real economies forming because of this blockchain technology. So hopefully this explains for those of you guys who are new to play to earn gaming, kind of how it works in a very general sense. We're essentially just turning a video game world into a world with real assets and real currency. And when there's a virtual world that now has real assets and real currency, there's real opportunity there in order to make money. And that is what's so, so exciting about the future of gaming. And that's what's so exciting about the future of play to earn. So hopefully this video helped out those of you guys who are new to the whole space, kind of get a grasp of how it all works. And hopefully you're excited about it as well now, because I am so, so excited about this. It's going to be making such a massive difference in, I think, third worlds and, and first worlds. And as AI starts to take more jobs and automation starts to take more physical labor, we need to find more jobs. And if these jobs could appear in virtual worlds, uh, as well as just on the internet and, and new uh, jobs that just come up naturally as the economy matures, then I think this could be part of the solution as humanity just doesn't need to do a lot of the same manual labor that we had to do before. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you think this concept is, is cool, then remember to leave a big thumbs up as that will help out this video a ton in the YouTube algorithm. It will tell YouTube that you like it and then the algorithm literally recommends it to other people uh, that like similar stuff to you. So by leaving a thumbs up, it's kind of like you're sharing this video. And then if you're excited about the future of blockchain gaming, of play to earn crypto, of NFT, then make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell as well because this entire channel is dedicated to the future of gaming. It's dedicated to what I am super excited about, which is play to earn gaming. And I think you'll want to stay tuned. And I'll end by saying thank you to all of our incredible Patreon supporters. Your guys' support is so appreciated. I don't make these videos by myself. I say it every video, but my brother does an awesome job editing all these videos. Uh, Nathan and then Josh does the sound design, original intro and outro music which is really, really enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoy uh, all the work that the team puts in. And until next time, everyone, have fun roaming the metaverse.